friends. I'm here today with a book called Little Lit. And this book is a collection of classic stories, once upon a time, folklore, and funny tales. And it's written, it's actually not written and illustrated by any one person. It's edited by someone named Art Spiegelman, which means Art Spiegelman collected all these folk tales written like comic strips um, by different writers and artists and collected them and put them in this book. It's like a compilation. And the story I'm going to read to you today is called The Fisherman and the Sea Thistle. Um, and this is a Japanese folk tale, and I absolutely love the illustrations in this cartoon version of it. A long time ago in Japan, there lived a poor young fisherman named Urashima Taro, the fisherman and the sea princess. In Japan, the family name is said first, as in Jones Jimmy. So we would say Jimmy Jones. In Japan, they say Jones Jimmy. One day, as Taro was going home, Hey, stop that. You shouldn't tease a turtle like that. They're very special. Some people say they live for thousands of years. We're sorry, mister. Back to the ocean for you, my friend. And you can look carefully. Can you see it all? I hope you can see it all. I can't see from behind the shade here. The next day, Taro, Taro. Hello, Taro. The Sea King wants to thank you for saving my life. The Sea King? Climb on my back and I'll take you to him. They traveled very fast and very far until they reached the Dragon Palace of the Sea King. And so you can see the turtle is taking Taro to this island. Please come this way. The King is waiting. Welcome, Orishima Taro, and thank you for your kind deed. I am the Sea King, and this is my daughter, Princess Oto. I am honored. No, Taro, we are honored to have you here. It would make me very happy if you would stay here with us forever. I, I would love to. Taro fell in love with the princess, and soon after that, they were married. So you can see him meeting the king. I like here in this picture the octopus tells him the king is waiting for him. And you can see he fell in love and they married. Every day they enjoyed the pleasures of the palace. Oh, my cat just knocked the cat grass over. And in this way, three years passed. But one day, what's wrong, Taro? Otto. I've been very happy these past three years, but my parents and friends must be very worried about me. I must go back and tell them I'm all right. Oh, no, Taro, you can't. If you go, I'm afraid you'll never return. Don't be silly. Of course I'll return. I'll just go for a short while and come right back, but I must see them. You've made up your mind and I can't stop you. Wait. Take this box with you to remember me. It holds the secret that will keep you safe, but you must never open it, no matter what. Promise me you'll never open it, Taro. Promise. And you see there they are enjoying the sea palace, riding on seahorses, but then Taro is sad. Now his wife is sad. Taro gave the princess his word, and after a long journey, found himself back at the shore of his old village. But everything looks so different. How can so much have changed in just three years? Excuse me, where can I find the house of the Urashima family? Urashima? No one with that name lives here anymore. Try looking in the graveyard. But that's my name. I am Urashimo Taro. Ha! That's a good joke. Urashima Taro was a poor young fisherman who went off to sea one day and never returned. But that was 300 years ago. 300 years? It can't be true. This must be a trick by the princess to make sure I'll return. You see, he arrives at his beach and you see the city looks all modern now. And the old man tells him, and I love his face here when he's like, oh, 
what is that? 300 years? This box. She said it held a secret. I promise not to open it. But I must know why everything is so strange. The box. Empty. But my hands. My face. At last, Orishima Taro knew the answer. In the Dragon Palace, time passed more slowly, and the Sea King's magic had kept him young. But now that he'd broken his promise to Princess Oto, he had also broken the spell. And he would be there to see her again. And there he is, an old, old, old man. What do you think the lesson of this folk tale is? Think about it for just a minute. Yeah, I think it's to be happy with what you have and not wish for other things, right? Okay, friends, this is your Friday video read aloud. So I'll see you all again next week. I miss you.